NASA's New Horizons probe has detected strange activity on Pluto. New Horizons has shown us vistas of Pluto that we have just never seen before. Unprecedented images, including this one. This image actually looks like a snail. You can actually see what might be a shell and a head. It's really strange, and I have to admit, it looks like it's leaving a path. So, do we see space snails on Pluto? The extreme conditions make it unlikely the objects in the image are living creatures. And the anatomy of snails makes it impossible for them to reach such a huge size. You better put a skeleton in it, otherwise it's just going to collapse in an unappetizing heap. Many planetary scientists consider a geological explanation for the snails to be more likely. Pluto is an active geological world. Under the incredible pressures of Pluto's interior, a sea of frozen nitrogen is gradually deforming, making it behave like a thick fluid. The result, a constant churn of ice. Think of a lava lamp with a blob slowly coming up from the bottom of the lamp. This is exactly the same thing that's happening on Pluto. Over thousands of years, geological plates of frozen nitrogen push up to the surface of Pluto, where their edges cool and begin to crack. These lines are none other than the edges of convection zones where warm material has come up in the center and then cold material, now cooling, drops down along the edges. The convection theory explains the trails as partially frozen cracks, but it doesn't explain the movement of the giant snails across glaciers of nitrogen. These giant snails are probably water ice. Pluto is so cold, water freezes into rock-hard mountains of ice taller than the Alps, which cluster around the edges of the nitrogen plains. Frozen water is less dense than frozen nitrogen, so it floats above it. Water ice is going to be rock-hard and might form a large iceberg. It would sit on top of the nitrogen ice. That's what we're seeing on the surface of Sputnik Planum. We're seeing icebergs floating in a sea of frozen nitrogen.